Hello and welcome to the first video from the series on WinBugs, a very cool software developed to solve the Bayesian estimation problem using the MCMC approach. Now in this video we're going to go ahead and teach you how to download and install this software. You can search it up on Google. The first link is where you want to be. And then you'll find a link referring to the latest version of the software, 1.4.3. Now, unfortunately, in order to acquire this latest version, you'd have to go through a somewhat indirect process whereby you download version 1.4 first, and then you install the key in order to have unrestricted use, and then you go ahead and patch to upgrade to version 1.4.3. Um, the last two steps are sort of um, you know, manual processes, but they're very easy, and we'll get into that. For now, you go ahead and download version 1.4. Beware. If you're using a 64-bit machine, you click this link, and if you're in a 32-bit, you click this. We're in a 64, so go ahead and download. <clears throat> now, I recommend to extract to the program files folder. It so seems that um, WinBugs itself s refers and um, assumes destinations within the program files folder. And so on that note, I recommend to um, extract into the program files folder. And so we do that. Oops. And there we have it. The software is now fully executable, but uh, we're still left to install the key and to upgrade. To install the key, you click here and you'll be directed to this weird looking page you'll immediately see a set of instructions and a bunch of gibberish. Uh, so I'm just reading by these instructions. So I mean, I'll just tell you what to do. You copy everything and you go back into your WinBugs folder and you open WinBugs, but with one condition, you would have to open it with, if you're using Windows, of course, as administrator. And the reason is this process actually seems to not work if you don't do this to explicitly have administrator permission. Um, so go ahead and run as administrator. You only need to do this when you're um, installing the key and when you're patching. So it says, the instructions tell me to open up a new dialog box with file new, as I did. And I paste everything. And then I go into tools, decode, and decode all. And it even tells me if I'm unsure that it worked, which I am, um, to go into this folder and find keys.ocf and to indeed confirm that at whatever time that you decoded the keys.ocf file has been modified. You do the exact same thing in order to patch. Open up a new folder, new file, go back, click the link corresponding to the patch. You have to click on this second link and then you'll be redirected into a very similar sort of page. Copy everything, go into WinBugs, and go ahead and paste, and decode. And you decode all, OK, and OK. And now you should have an unrestricted and fully updated version of uh, WinBugs, version 1.4.3. You can check that by pressing F1. As you can see, upgraded to version 1.4.3. Now we're completely on the same plane, and uh, for hopefully for the next videos, I can show you how to work with this thing. Hope to see you soon. Bye.